Hi guys, Shadi from Peel Drone. Today, quick build log. Um, Diatone 160mm frame purchased from Banggood. Frame is pretty much stock except just swapping the screws here to the uh, M2 socket head. Um, and uh, I did not use uh, the uh, PDB that came with it. Uh, looks a little bit on the cheap side with really thin traces. So, um, Let's go over the build uh, from out in words motors um, Dragonfly uh, MC 1306 3100 KV purchased from uh, FPV model running the Gemfan 4045 uh, regular props. You could always go uh, bull nose, but again, it's not a good idea, especially for those motors. Keeping those would keep you on a good agility and response level um, ESCs I did go with the um, uh, little b 20 amp ESC I could have gone smaller but this is what I had uh, difference in weight and, and size wouldn't be much between this and for example uh, XM10 so um, that did the job for now that's what I had um, inside so let's just get the top plate I tried to keep the top plate as uh, modular as possible for just uh, if you're going to be racing this. So two connections uh, to wire and the transmitter. VTX is an uh, ET or LT200. Uh, it's a nice transmitter. Just be careful that the actual voltage output of this is not 5 volt to the camera. It's actually 4 volt which worked pretty perfect on this case because the camera runs from 3.5 to 5 volts so that worked fine antenna is uh, directly soldered uh, to the board just to uh, shed the weight that's not really needed on the SMA connectors uh, cheap antenna pretty flexible so wouldn't really hurt the uh, BDB especially with with that notch here too so that worked pretty good for for that build uh, two connections or two wires you need to connect uh, or I connect uh, power that's 12 volt coming from the uh, lipo 3 cell with just a little cap here just to smooth um, input a little bit the other one goes to the camera uh, which will feed the camera the 5 volt ground and would take audio and video um, uh, from the camera um, on the quad itself, let's start from the backwards, going uh, to the front. Um, receiver, radio receiver. This is a Lemon um, uh, DSMX satellite receiver, decased uh, just to get rid of all the weight and, and size not really needed. Um, in front of that, you will see the Matic Mini BDB. That's what I used. Uh, just trying to um, go for a, a little bit better quality uh, and it's tiny I just desoldered all the components the regulator here and the caps to make space for a um, buck regulator which is this one that is a 5 volt buck regulator variable I set up to 5.05 um, and ESC is wired as you see then the lipo on here I used XT30 um, would do the job uh, rated supposedly 30 amp which you're looking here at 7 to 8 amps on each motor uh, withdraw so that should be uh, good especially with the size and weight I couldn't find I did try um, a Dean's connector couldn't really notice any uh, performance degradation so that's that's good for what it is now uh, after that at the front uh, you will see the the uh, flight controller that's an afro mini flash with beta flight um, right now 2.1.6 uh, with uh, Boris firmware um, and then the camera which is uh, that's just uh, the camera is actually only this portion it's a $10 CMOS camera from Banggood again uh, 600 TVL perfect for what that size the rest is a plastic casing and then at the back 
Uh, this is the uh, Minim Micro OSD. So I just made it in one, just trying to save on the size a little bit. Um, out of the camera and the OSD, two wiring. Again, that one uh, we explained goes to the uh, VTX for power to power the camera and video and audio. The other one goes to the Afro Mini uh, serial port uh, UART1 which is the shared one with the USB. So you can pull TX, RX, and you get five volt and ground to feed up and power up the uh, Minim uh, micro OSD. Uh, wiring, uh, ESC signal wires directly wired to the uh, Afro Mini 1, 2, 3, 4. Ground, I did merge both grounds from each side into one wire and soldered directly to the Afro Mini sides here. Um, there is also the uh, power uh, lead, that's the VBAT, and a 6 millimeter buzzer, where is one of the leads, is, which is ground, is connected to the board directly. Just give it some fixture here. And then the positive goes to take 5 volt again from the buck regulator. Um, then um, what is left here would be to go over not really much I believe we covered most of it um, battery um, the best battery I could find to do the job was this the Nanotech 850 milli amp 3 cell rated 45 to 90 C claimed uh, discharge around 70 uh, grams I believe uh, total weight with no lipo is 143 grams uh, all up weight with the lipo, we are getting close to uh, 214 grams within that range. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, she flies great. Uh, the only my only issue was um, the uh, whole layout on the rear, which leaves the motor wire sticking out a little bit. Not a huge issue. Uh, the other thing you have to notice if you look sideways here that the, I believe, or that's what I think, the center gravity is a bit towards the, the front of the quad in relation to the motor axis. So uh, I noticed she would veer a little bit forward on, on, on heavy throttles, which is again nothing that the, the flight controller can handle. So uh, that is fine. Uh, that's it pretty much. Uh, well, I'll post a video soon for the flight, uh, line of sight, and hopefully FPV also. Uh, stay tuned. Thanks.